Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in May, I let you know that if you are using Microsoft Edge, that Microsoft said that Edge is going to be getting faster with WebUR 2.0. Now, as mentioned in that video, which once again will be linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more information, Microsoft said that they would be rewriting many of the interface elements in the Edge browser to load faster and be more responsive as part of its WebUR2 internal project. Now, just to let you know that recently, in conjunction with that previous announcement, Microsoft has now confirmed that WebUR2 is going to be heading to the Edge settings and is expected to bring a performance boost uh, to the browser, which I think is a nice move. Now, this is according to a recent um, Microsoft 365 roadmap entry, which says, and I'm quoting, Edge settings is migrating to WebUR2 to boost page responsiveness and introducing a series of minor visual and content upgrades to improve overall usability and utility. They carry on to say this includes optimizing for concise wording of individual settings, simplifying the number of pages and reorganizing content and creating a cohesive user interface. And to some extent or the other, that has already started to happen because if we head over to Canary, and I'll also leave a, a video I posted on this uh, linked down below and in the end screen, we can see that parts of the settings have already what they are calling simplifying the number of pages and reorganizing content. We can see it's um, your densely populated pages like appearance, just to give two examples in system and performance have got a bit of a makeover where we've got these sub-menus and popular settings here at the top with the little tabs. So you can see the difference and still this kind of old layout in the stable version. So that's something to look out for. And according to the roadmap, uh, the WebUR2 um, performance boost is coming starting in December of this year, 2024. Now, they, they don't give us any exact dates, obviously, throughout the course of December. And according to Microsoft, the primary goal um, with WebUR2 is to make the UR, and I'm quoting, very fast, as I mentioned in the previous video. And to some extent or the other, this has already started rolling out, uh, give or take, in the stable version. So as an example, if I head to Browser Essentials, that's already got a WebUR2 treatment. But if I head to the apps, it takes a little bit longer to load. And if we head to favorites, that's got WebUR2. But if we head to history, you can see it takes a bit longer to load. So that's more or less what Microsoft is talking about. And we can expect some of that now. With that layout and reorganization, WebUR2 coming to the settings, hopefully that will make things a little bit more responsive and according to Microsoft should make the browser you are very fast. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.